the countryside is burning up. It is official now. It is the worst drought in a quarter century. Six to 13 twisters touched down in North Texas Tuesday. Climate change is basically putting our weather system on steroids. And the impacts of that can be really severe. Sandy's effects blasted New York City, causing damage and destruction never seen before in America's largest city. This storm is so big, so vast, 60 million Americans will feel its power. Anyone who says uh, there's not a dramatic change in weather patterns, I think is denying reality. Regardless of the debates about the causality of climate change, we need to understand that we are living in a new normal that new normal includes more extreme events, more disaster risks. We're having more and more 100-year storms every few years instead of every 100 years. So what we now call the one in 100-year flood is eventually gonna become the one in 10-year flood. Climate change, erratic weather, pushes people over the edge it goes very quickly from being a local economic problem to being a local political problem. And when it becomes a local political problem, it becomes a global security problem. The sea ice in the Arctic is melting at a rate faster than has been predicted by scientists, and temperatures are warming. The Arctic is scary. You have Russia, you have the US, you have Canada, you have many countries working to stake claims to parts of the Arctic. And it's gotten to such an extreme that the Russian government is saying that they aren't ruling out that there will be armed conflicts and a big shift in the balance of power in the Arctic because people want the oil there. You'll see increased sea level rise, and once that sea level is rising, if there are stronger hurricanes, you'll see much greater storm surges affecting all of the coasts where the vast majority of the United States population lives. A direct hit of a major Cat 5 hurricane in Houston would have major uh, repercussions that would ripple across at least the eastern United States for weeks and or months to come. What could that do to our oil infrastructure? Uh, if we were to devastate our oil infrastructure, what would that mean for our ability to even drive our cars? Dry areas of the planet that are already dry are going to become drier. You have more probability of severe wildfires. It's these extreme events that can totally disrupt the world food economy. If women aren't able to feed their children, it creates an instability. If large populations have to migrate because the, the resources they need for sustenance, the food, the water, are simply not available, that creates security issues. And then the oil exporting countries, in all probability, would begin bartering oil for grain to make sure they had enough grain to feed their people. And then the rest of the world would have been scrambling for whatever was left. We're much closer to the edge, I think, than, than most people realize. The kinds of questions that we're faced with as a society are, how do we all fit on the planet? How do we move forward in a sustainable way? In the end of the day, climate change is going to be addressed most effectively by communities, individuals, and governments on the ground in the developing world. We need to become a, a climate-ready nation, and we could stop debating what's causing it. I think we see it, we're seeing it happen. Now how do we get ready for it? And how do we make ourselves less susceptible to the impact of climate and the weather that we're seeing these days? People need to stand up to say, we don't want the next war that our kids will die in to be over oil in the Arctic. We don't want our next war to be over oil. We don't want our kids to live in a world where they have to worry about extreme weather events. We're in a situation where if we don't take these actions sooner rather than later, it may simply be too late. It's gonna take industry stepping up and, and doing the right thing. You cannot treat the atmosphere as a free good. You can't treat what you do to the environment as, as something that doesn't belong in your cost accounting. This is a problem that is not going to be solved by uh, regulators. Uh, it's a problem that's only going to be solved by innovators.
Ultimately, our story is really about why we as individuals and members of a global community should take these issues seriously before it's too late. Coming soon on PBS, Journey to Planet Earth.